I wanted to do a video to demonstrate a program that I had written recently for the HP 42S and its purpose is to convert decimal values into um, a close equivalent fractional value that is measurable on a tape measure. And this came about because I do home projects and for example I built a ladder for the kids treehouse and I needed to divide the spacing between the steps into five equal spaces. So how do you do that? I mean, you, you, you divide, you can divide your fractional value by five, but then actually getting something that you can use on a standard tape measure is more difficult. So this program here, let's say, let's say the ladder length was 72 inches. So I enter that, and then I've added these sort of easy input buttons um, to, uh, to add, quickly add other values. So let's say it's 72 inches and, oh, I don't know, 5 sixteenths. And I'll add that to my 72. Now I want that to the nearest 16th value. Or say, I, I'll divide that by 5 first. Okay, and I want that to the nearest 16th. I don't know what to do with 14.46 inches. So I hit the fraction button here. And that asks me what the nearest uh, value I want. So do, do I want the nearest 32nd, the nearest 16th, the nearest 8th? And I want the nearest 16th. So I'll go ahead and hit that. And it comes back with 14 and 7 16ths as the nearest 16th. Now one thing to note is that if I had just gone, say, 14 and 7 16ths, and I wanted the nearest half, the program will go to the nearest half there, but say I've got 31 30 seconds, and I want to go to the nearest half. And it goes to three quarter, and that is not the nearest half. So the program has some limitations. You can't just choose any, not that you would really need to choose the nearest half. You should be able to tell easily from a decimal form for that. But uh, if I went to 31, uh, 30 seconds, I could specify the nearest 32nd, it would give me 31, 30 seconds. I could specify the nearest 16th, 15, 16 so I went from 31, 30 seconds to 15, 16 Then I could do the nearest eighth, okay, that's seven eighths. The nearest quarter, three quarter, working our way down, and the nearest half, and that would, would get me to a half. So you can't start with a very fine um, value and then try to go to a different, uh, you know, the nearest half and expect it to work properly. And maybe that's something I'll correct later, but I, I really don't think it's much of a problem. But anyway, that's, that's that program, and I hope you enjoy.